Right, this is a qu quick walk around video for a Mazda MX-5. This is the two litre Venture Edition model. Uh, it's got a private plate on here of S20 TNT, but the car's currently going through a plate transfer and we're going to EA12 OHR upon completion, but that's all but done now. Car's finished in white here, as you can see. It looks absolutely stunning. It really, really does. Um, video probably doesn't really do justice to the car. Obviously a full road uh, roadster version, so it's got the hard stop, hard top, sorry, with electric folding roof, which I'll show uh, working and operational. So I'm gonna go around the car for you. Um, hardly a mark to be seen on the car anywhere, in all honesty. Uh, front of the car here, I'm looking for stone chips as I'm walking. There will be one or two. You have to hunt quite hard to find them, I'm afraid. Um, top of the wings, bonnet itself is incredibly incredibly clean I said I really did struggle to find any at all on the car coming down the near side of the vehicle front alloy wheel beautiful condition loads and loads of tread on the tire there just go in there you can see there you got the Venture Edition badge on it but the panel work is clean and crisp and I said hardly a mark to be seen anywhere on it there really is rear alloy again beautiful condition lovely angle for these cars at the back here they do look absolutely fabulous and just go down here to show there's no car parking dinks or dents anywhere down the panel work of the car at all down on this near side around the back again twin exhausts on these two litre versions looks absolutely super and coming to the off side of the car and just to crouch down, absolutely no things or dents anywhere on there. Rear wing, completely unmarked. Alloy wheel, beautiful condition again. And as with the near side, off side of the vehicle is in simply beautiful condition. So externally, looking at the car in absolutely fantastic order, it really, really is. Um, what I'll do in a second now is just to put the electric roof down and show you the, um, the car with the, the roof down. So I sat inside the car now, just going to show the roof operation. You've got the two buttons for the electric roof on the dashboard there. And up here, just a lever, which you press and release. And then press and hold that one there. Sorry, that one there even. I'll just show the roof going back so you can see it. Working in all its glory. And that's it. So there with the roof down, obviously you get a completely different look for the vehicle, more conventional view you'd expect to see of a Mazda MX-5. And it does look absolutely fantastic. It really, really does. So coming to the inside of the car now, driver's door card looks like all but new in all honesty um, lovely kind of uh, tan leather interior dark brown or whatever you call it but really suits the white exterior of the car it's exactly the interior you want to see uh, with one of these um, interior is in fantastic condition and, you know, only moderate signs of you know any kind of wear at all and obviously you can see the sat nav system there as well I'll come around to the passenger side in a second as well so driver side again all beautiful beautiful condition all the sill area kick plates all really nice uh, it's obviously got the original Mazda MX-5 mats in the car and driver's seat looks absolutely superb so sat in the car now obviously engine's running as it has been all the way through just to go across the dashboard in more detail for you uh, so it's a lovely place to sit really fantastic uh, dashboard design Fully operational sat nav system, obviously air conditioning, you've got your heated seat buttons down there as well, all working perfectly. Six speed gearbox lever, all the interior plastics are in really, really nice order. Uh, Multifunction steering wheel on the car with cruise control built into these models as well. And then you've got your main dashboard, obviously, engine's running there as you can see, 36,094 miles, and there's no warning lights on the car at all. What should follow now will be a short road test of this very car. Right, this is a quick road test. Uh, this is for a Mazda 
two litre Roadster. Um, car's registered EA12OHR. Uh, it's currently on a private plate S20 TNT. That's coming off the vehicle. Uh, the plate transfers in being in the middle of being processed currently. The reason for the road test is very simple. We like customers to see cars we're advertising in operation prior to coming to see us. That way, if there's any issues with the car, we can relay them back to you and give you any feedback on the car that might be relevant to you prior to coming to see us. Road tests are also done on the roads just outside our premises, so should be wholly representative of what you should feel and experience yourself. Uh, brief background to this particular car. This car came in on pot exchange to us. Uh, we're very lucky indeed to get hold of it. Um, the car has been fully serviced by Mazda all the way through. And I drove it prior to agreeing to do the deal with the people um, and was frankly blown away by it. It's a fantastic car. Um, it's just gone through the workshops. Absolutely nothing to report, which I wouldn't expect given the, the way it's been maintained. So starting with the engine of the car, engine starts absolutely immediately. It was a cold, raw morning this morning, yeah, below freezing. Uh, it fired up immediately. Uh, the engine settled to a nice, even idle. Pulls really, really, really sweetly. I love these two litre ones. They've got a real, got plenty of low down grunt. But they've got a really nice soundtrack as soon as the revs pick up, the engine digs deeper, breathes more freely. Um, and it's a really nice companion. It's, a, it's a definitely the engine of choice for this particular car if you obviously want to enjoy your driving um, as opposed to just enjoy being sitting in a cabriolet or convertible or whatever you want to call it. So engine absolutely spot on. It really is. There's no warning lights on the car relating to the engine or any other part of the car. Mileage I should say is just turned over 36,000, it's 36,088 miles. Engine then runs into clutch and into the gearbox. Clutch is, just feels as new, uh, very smooth in operation. There's no clicks, no squeaks, nothing at all from it. Um, bites absolutely perfectly. Clutch on the car, oh, sorry, the um, gearbox on the car is very 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 highly regarded not just for their uh, longevity and reliability but because it's such a lovely gear change it really really is uh, one of the best gearboxes of course it's got the advantage being rear wheel drive the gear lever is going straight down into the gearbox below so there's no cables or anything else um, for the gear change is going to get lost in translation all the way through to that. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful gear change. You know, it, it genuinely adds to the drive of the car. It doesn't detract in any way. I mean, they are noted as being, you know, what, this is one of the best gearboxes you will ever get your hands on outside of a race car. It's, you know, it's, it's short and throw. Um, very, very easy to find every gear. You, you'll never get lost. I'm only just doing that to show. But it's, it really is fantastic. It really is. Um, there's absolutely no wear in it at all, of course. It's, um, it just feels very much as if it just came straight off the production line. It's got that lovely tightness and uh, freshness about the gear change, which you get with obviously low mileage and you know well looked after cars. So in terms of powertrain of the car, utterly faultless, really, really is. Driving along now, car tracks absolutely bullet straight. There's no uh, vibrations um, from the steering at all. There's no slack in it in any way at all. Again, so I know this is going to be fairly obvious with the mileage, but it, you know it's not always the case. Which is said why we do do the videos. Um, but steering the car, I'll talk more about its dynamics. But um, in essence, you know the, the videos about trying to find anything that might be amiss. Um, but certainly on the steering, chassis, absolutely spot on. Again, there's. No, no noises coming from underneath, it shouldn't be there. It's 
actually very, very, very comfortable. They call it so well judged Mazda. It's a brilliant chassis. It's utterly exploitable. It hasn't got ridiculously high limits where you can't actually enjoy the car. Um, it's what it's got is a an ability to cover miles in comfort if you're not really in a hurry or if you really want to push on you can have a lot a lot of fun in the car um, you know regardless of whether you're spending ten thousand pounds or hundred thousand pounds you're going to struggle to find a car that puts this bigger smile on your face obviously being a hard top um, it's noticeably quieter than the soft top versions at, at, at the legal limit and um, again which adds to the its ability to cover long distances and comfort um, on top of that as I said very comfortable ride um, obviously you've got the sat nav system there you've got just everything you want to sort of cover distance really have um, but it's a really comfortable car to drive and driving position is absolutely spot on steering wheel directly in front of you there's no sitting askew in these things as you get with some manufacturers I just can't fault it I really can't and you know I said you know my lots of my videos I'll pick up on things usually minor but you know I will I will try and find things to report back if I think it's relevant but there's nothing if you're coming to drive this car you come to drive a really wonderful example of a fantastic car inside we've not even cleaned it yet it's going to be cleaned literally as soon as I drop it back um, it hardly needs it it's in lovely lovely condition it really is uh, as you can see there obviously this this version of the car you've got the it's a lovely big screen sat nav system it all operates absolutely beautifully heated seats which I can uh, verify because it's warming my backside up right now um, works really nicely nice and toasty on there obviously both seats are um, heated as well uh, you've got climate control system working beautifully as well on the car oh, it just goes around the corner so well um, but obviously you know multifunction steering wheel on the vehicle as well steering wheel again just feels like new in my hand it, it's look at the gauges in front again it's all you know, I love I love the simplicity. It's obviously got a kind of got that retro feel, uh, but it's obviously also feels completely modern, which they've managed to achieve both without being. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, things like minis and Fiat 500s, I, I kind of like them. I do find them a little bit. I don't know. It's a bit obvious. A bit. I don't know. It, but this this has got a just a, a simple old school charm about it, without really trying to be anything. And I and I. I I really like that so you've got these two very symmetrical dashboard the gauges you want to see are directly in front of you so you've got a huge rev counter and speedo um, press oil pressure gauge you know how it's back to old times it doesn't really need it these days um, and then you've got your fuel gauge and temperature gauge which is running at just over a third which is where it wants to be on these Mazda cars um, but it's all there to add but not detract from the drive of the car and it, it succeeds brilliantly it really really does um, it's utterly squeak free in here there's no wind intrusion there's no noises coming back through brake pedal is rock solid they've got really good brakes on the car uh, said it sailed through its uh, pre-delivery inspection uh, there's nothing that, that we could we could find on the car that you know needed attending to um, but as I said point of video really is just to show the car in operation if there's anything I've missed um, you know please please do sort of contact us and we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have I don't leave anything out by uh, intent or design please let me through so but as I said if there's anything I've, I have missed and you want me to find out for you I'll, I'll be more than happy to do so uh, but based on this test drive, you come to see and hopefully drive and buy a really wonderful car.